Meanwhile, at any moment now, Governor Ron DeSantis could file paperwork to launch his presidential campaign officially. Many political observers believe DeSantis will formally announce his run for presidency sometime later this week. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest is following the latest developments in the 2024 presidential race from the newsroom. So, Mike, what is the status of the governor's campaign right now? Well, Lisa, it is still not official. But last week, DeSantis moved his political operation into a Tallahassee office building, and that started a clock ticking. Under federal law, the governor now has only about a week left to formally file campaign registration papers, but it's possible DeSantis could make the announcement much sooner. <laughs> governor Ron DeSantis spent last Friday doing what presidential candidates typically do, shaking hands and kissing babies in New Hampshire, home of the first GOP primary. According to CBS News, DeSantis will likely declare his candidacy on Wednesday, first with some sort of virtual announcement, followed a few days later by an appearance in DeSantis' hometown of Dunedin, near Tampa. We've never had a Floridian elected president in our uh, almost 200 years as a state. Before that can happen, UCF history professor and News 6 political analyst Jim Clark says DeSantis will have to explain why he's better suited for the job than former President Donald Trump. The problem has always been that um, if you fire a single shot at President Trump, he comes back with a nuclear bomb. That I'm running for president. DeSantis will be joined by an increasingly crowded field that includes South Carolina Senator Tim Scott, who announced his candidacy today. Trump responded by wishing Scott luck, saying, quote, Tim is a big step up from Ron DeSanctimonious, who is totally unelectable. We had a huge problem during COVID uh, with some of the rot in these public health bureaucracies. While DeSantis will certainly highlight his efforts to quickly reopen Florida during the pandemic, the governor will also have to show he can get things done, even without the help of the Republican-controlled Florida legislature. What we're going to see is whether a, a president DeSantis perhaps could work with other people. That Republican-controlled legislature recently passed a bill that would allow DeSantis to run for president while continuing to serve as governor. Now, DeSantis has not yet signed the bill that would exempt him from Florida's so-called resign-to-run requirement, but that law will take effect the moment the governor puts his signature on it, so we could see that happen soon. Matt and Lisa. It's about to get very interesting. Mike DeForest, thank you.